sex. Yes, let's talk about it. Sex is normal, desirable, and actually healthy for you, but sex leads to pregnancy and in some cases, unwanted pregnancy. Cue the creation of birth control. For years, birth control has been catered towards women with many options such as the pill, injections, and IUDs. But what if I told you that a male birth control was in the works? About time, right? A new research study titled On-Demand Male Contraception Via Acute Inhibition of Soluble Adenylyl Cyclase is investigating, as the title suggests, a new on-demand contraception for men. In this video, we will break down the study researchers did and demystify the science behind this hot topic so that we can all understand how this promising contraception works and its implications. Now, before you continue watching the video, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and press that notification bell so that you're alerted when the next video by our channel comes out. Currently, men's birth control options are limited to condoms and vasectomies. Condoms, which are not always used properly, have a typical failure rate of about 14%. Another option is a vasectomy, which is a surgical procedure that cuts and seals the tubes that carry sperm. While vasectomies have a high success rate, reversing the procedure can be difficult, expensive, and not always possible. Efforts to develop male contraception has existed since at least the 1970s, when researchers started clinical trials for hormonal birth control methods for men. Since then, there's been little to no success in creating an effective birth control pill. Part of the difficulty in developing one is rooted in biology. In men, you have to prevent sperm coming out every day, and the body makes millions of sperm daily. Another difficulty is that in previous trials, men have backed out due to side effects such as weight gain and acne. The good news is that the hunt to create effective male contraception is still ongoing, and new research that was conducted in mice seems very promising. Now let's move on to the study investigating this experimental birth control. The goal of the study is to administer a single dose of soluble adenylyl cyclase inhibitor, which would essentially freeze the sperm and stop them from moving so they cannot fertilize an egg. Generally, the way that pregnancy occurs is when sperm from the penis enters the uterus of the woman, and then the sperm reaches the fallopian tube where the woman's egg resides, as one is released from the ovaries and into the fallopian tube every month, waiting to be fertilized by any potential sperm. Previous research has shown that soluble adenylyl cyclase is a compound that drives sperm to actually move and mature, so inhibiting this compound would actually immobilize the sperm, making it impossible for it to move past the vaginal canal. Now, as with any drug development, the drug first goes through the preclinical trials where the drug is given to an animal model with close resemblance to the human. Researchers conducted two experiments in mice. One was designed to test the male mice's sperm motility, while the other was to check if the female mice would become pregnant. Several fancy techniques such as the western blot analysis and the acrosome reaction assay were performed to measure these variables of sperm motility and female pregnancy. Researchers found that the drug was 100% effective at preventing pregnancies within two and a half hours of being administered, and 91% effective after three and a half hours. In terms of sperm mobility, only 6% of sperm were mobile and samples collected two hours after mice received the drug. The best part is that mice still showed normal sexual behavior and were fully fertile the next day. The side effects of this drug are not yet known as this has only recently been a hot topic brought to the research community's attention and further studies need to be completed to understand the possible limitations. The benefits of this drug, if successful, would be wonderful since most women's birth control works by manipulating hormones, which can take a huge toll on someone and cause a multitude of side effects. Now I know you may be wondering why we should even care since this research study was done on mice anyways. Well, humans and mice are both mammals and quote unquote almost all of the genes in mice share functions with the genes in humans. So. This means that the way in which we become susceptible to particular diseases and the way in how our digestive, reproductive, and circulatory systems work, to name a few, are very, very similar. This suggests that we can easily extrapolate the results of this study to help us understand how this male birth control pill may take effect in humans. Now that we understand how the results of the study are relevant to humans, you may be wondering why we should consider the results of this study to be important. Well, the results of this study relieve stress for women, as most of the responsibility of preventing pregnancies lie on women. And this is really the first time that we are seeing something men can use very similar to women to prevent pregnancies. So, this will bring upon the shared realization that contraception is the responsibility of both the male and female rather than it being only of the female. 
Also, we can tackle the large global unintended pregnancy rate of about 50%, as well as help lower the maternal depression and anxiety women and men face due to unplanned pregnancies. And this will provide men with another, possibly more effective and practical option. The future implications of such a revolutionary concept are quite broad. From lowering the rate of unwanted pregnancies to creating a more equal responsibility of pregnancy outcomes and to providing more support for the woman should she be involved in a legal case are just some of the ways male birth control pills will affect our futures. Also, the abortion rate dramatically increases due to unwanted pregnancies and many complications can result due to pregnancy and during the actual delivery of the baby. But with a male birth control pill, the abortion rate and complications will decrease as the unwanted pregnancy rate decreases. As you can see, having birth control options available for men is essential for promoting reproductive health, reducing unintended pregnancy and abortion, supporting individuals' autonomy and choice in their sexual and reproductive lives, and reducing the burden off women. This drug is an innovative, on-demand, and non-hormonal strategy of preventing pregnancy that we hope within the next few years will be available to the public. As of right now, continue to educate yourselves on the options available to you, and most of all, have safe and consensual sex.